Thank you for tuning in to another Brewnomics interview series at the lounge at the end of the universe. I'm well Jerry. Done. I'm William. And we have a special guest with us today, Cece Hello. from Edge Brewing. Hello. Hello. Hi, Cece. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for um, having me. Absolutely. So another interview for you guys to <laughs> enjoy some of the local beer scene, see what Edge has been doing, what they're going to be doing, and other fun stuff. But in the meantime, let's 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 get a beer. Yeah. So we can get. I mean, it is a beer show, so we might as well start drinking some beer. Sure. And then we'll get on with the questions. Unless you want to ask a question first. Oh. Short one. It's getting ready. Better hurry. Beer's coming. CC, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, how, how did you come uh, to be here talking with us today? Like, other than the fact that we asked you to. <laughs> yes, I did drive here, if that's what you were okay. asking. Okay, yeah, that's exactly it. Short question, <laughs> Short right? Question. Yeah. Short question. <laughs> With a vehicle and a driver's license. <laughs> I did. I obtained that driver's <laughs> license all by myself. Um, cool. No, we, we appreciate it. So, yeah, let's, let's get on to some beer. Our first beer is a Pilsner. Yes. This is the Czech Pils, I believe, from yes. Edge Brewing. Yeah, I'll take the can. Thank you. Cool. So this one I know it's 5.1. You got the thrills for the pills, which is a great name. Mm -hmm. Great name, great label. Uh, what do you know about this beer? It's the smoothest beer that I've ever had. Okay. There you go. Very classic Czech Pilsner. Uh, the can says that uh, this traditional Czech style Pilsner has a classic and bright malt flavor paired with subtle floral hop notes, followed by a crisp, clean lager finish that's sure to refresh. And I will 100% agree with that. Yeah. yeah. It's right. very refreshing. Yeah, it's hot as hell in this room. And this is a nice, cool, crisp beer yeah. to get it started with. Uh, a good one to break into, a little mellow for the palate. Uh, just sips, does its thing. Gets, mm -hmm. on its, gets on about its day. So I really like that. 5.1%. Good. I hate when beer's under 5%. Yeah. Uh, what do we have on the IBUs there? Pretty low, I would imagine. 28. 28, not bad. All in all, it's pretty tasty beer. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, I'm glad I'm starting to see, seems like a little bit more of a revitalization in Pilsners lately. It seems that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which was a much better drinking beer than like, you know, an industrial lager, an well, industrial Pilsner. <laughs> Might as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so as I asked earlier, uh, Cece, yeah, how did you come to be here? Tell us a little bit about your background, like um, how you got started with Edge and all that. Yes. How so long you've been with Edge, the whole history before. Perfect. Um, I have been with Edge only uh, since March, so right as the oh, pandemic wow. okay. hit the U.S. Hell of a time to start a job <laughs> at a brewery. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's been a wild ride, very fun. But I've been with them since March. Uh, before that, I was in the beer industry as a field marketing rep, and then I was a marketing manager for an orthodontist for four years before that. So, wow, um, orthodontistry. Okay, yes, that's yes. that's an quite interesting a jump. leap to go from orthodontics to beer. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, either one, you're still making smiles. So <laughs> there it is. That's the catchphrase. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Jerry's like mental note. Yeah. That's Always good. making smiles. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, um, actually, uh, you were telling me a little bit earlier about a kind of a horror story that you had. Would you mind sharing with us? I don't, it, you don't have to if you don't want to. No, I, I won't. Now that he put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, do you know the colors that go around the braces? It's like a color that's on the... No. Well, on braces, there's little rubber bands that go around it to hold in the wire. Oh, right, right, right. And Never had braces. So I was taking those off in the chair. I just went to do it really quickly so I didn't have my safety glasses on. I ended up taking one off. It bounced off my Explorer, went up, hit my eye, stuck to my eyeball. And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and I had to run away and go wash my eyes. <laughs> yeah. It was your own That's rubber funny. band or somebody else's? It was somebody else's. From somebody else's mouth. It was from someone else's mouth. <laughs> and whatever was in their mouth stuck to my eyelid. Gross. <laughs> So you're you are a true champion <laughs> of of just all industry at this point. So. Gee, why don't you do that job anymore? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beer is a lot safer. Oh my gosh, <laughs> lot no safer doubt. and way more fun. <laughs> way more fun. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. So you've been with with Edge since March. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna be a horrible host and put you on the spot again. Do you know a little <laughs> bit about uh, the history of Edge and kind of how long they've been in business? 
where they're located, all that kind of stuff? Yes. So uh, we've been open since 2014. That's when the, the Steelhead location opened, so the actual brewery and everything. And then in December of last year, so December of 2019, we opened our, our second location, which is our Edge Pub on 10th, so on 10th Street. Okay. So, yeah. Great. Yes. Yeah, they're both pretty good locations. Um, I'm yeah. excited for the new one. We just went there a few weeks ago. Yeah, we did. And then the Stillhead one is like a block and a half away from my work. Oh, yes. So it's quite convenient. Yes. Um, yeah, it's also right across the street from the police station, so. Oh. <laughs> I think, yeah. The courthouse and yeah, the like DMV. And DMV. Well, yeah, the DMV. The DMV I would say it's a police station, though. Uh, there's one around there. Maybe. Ish. <laughs> I see a lot of cops around there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's actually their, the city hall for fire departments and the police, so they have to oh, drop that's off all right. that's oh, right. that's right. That makes there. a lot of sense. I've been yeah. wondering why. Uh, yeah, worked in that area for a long time, but that's why you always see so many there, but it's not an actual station. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> I'm just the simpleton. I just see that, and I'm like, oh, police station. <laughs> Whatever. Again, we're not, we're not all that worried about it. <laughs> um yeah, I love the two location thing. Is that kind of, to the best of your knowledge, if you know, um, are we are they like holding with two locations, looking to expand even more? I think in in the next couple of years, yeah. Sure. Should always just be seeing how to expand. how it's going yeah. to. Yeah. Especially now with that opening back up and everything, so. Great. But yeah. we do keep a lot of variety. Some of the uh, uh, stuff on the the menu on Edge, especially some of the beers and everything, is only. Uh, to the downtown location. Same with Steelhead. There's some that you can only find at the Steelhead location. Well, that's so, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so some of the specials huh. and things like that, too. So we want you to be able to go to each one and find go something very unique at each one. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, because, uh, and it's not just beer. It's it's food, too. Yes. Because that's yeah. one thing. I was, well, I was this just the other day, I was drooling over your guys' Instagram. I think it was the downtown location that had the biscuits and gravy, oh but it gosh. was the eggs, cheese, and bacon rolled up in biscuits yes. with the oh. gravy on top of it. Oh, it looked amazing. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't at work, I'd been like, see ya. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is one thing that we consistently hear about Edge is that um, your guys' food is just amazing. Oh, yeah. Like, 100%. And um, the name of your guys' uh, head chef is... Tony. Tony. Tony and... Um, yeah, I I think I maybe have only met him once or something, just mm-hmm. to give him my compliments yeah. real quick. But, um, like, I'm kind of curious, like, with him kind of, you know, running the show there, is uh, is it more that he pairs, like, the his food that he prepares to the, the beer that you guys are serving, or it, does he have kind of, like, a collaborative relationship with uh, the head brewer there? Do you know... Yeah, so How that process he works. does have a guide through the Brewers Association of kind of the what pairs with sweet, what pairs with malty, what pairs with IPAs, things like that. Okay. So he kind of goes along that guide, and then together they collaborate um, different foods like our any of our our beer battered has our amber in it, so our amber okay. beer battered uh, cheese curds or uh, fried pickles, and then our black water stout is in the brisket. It's it's brined. So black water stout brined in the brisket, and then the barbecue. Nice. And then the chicken has pilsner brine on it as well. So he's not. So he's, he's also not just informing on the beer, but he's also then cooking with the yes. beer too. Wow, yes. that's great. And our ranch is hop infused as well. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah. You can't find that everywhere. Yes. I mean, that's that's awesome. I didn't. I didn't even think you could do that. Hop infused ranch. So good. Jerry's like. I am now hungry. <laughs> I am. I was hungry before we started this. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing too. to eat there? Do you well, have like, what's your favorite thing to eat there? Well, I am a Midwestern, so I love cheese curds and ranch. <laughs> so that uh, is my favorite. But my other one would be either the peanut butter burger or the wings. I, I was going to say the wings. I have to give a huge yes. shout out to the wings. They do some of the better wings you're going to be able to get around town. Yes. I absolutely think so. I like the, was it the ginger habanero ones? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't even like ginger, and I like the ginger habanero <laughs> wings, so that says something to them. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a mozzarella connoisseur as well, and I have to agree with you. Those cheese curds are amazing. Oh, so They're so good. It's still a weird thing to be a connoisseur of for me, but it each is, to their own. I won't yuck your yum, bro. You do what you want to do. I'm a ranch connoisseur, <laughs> so go. it was a big deal <laughs> there you when go. you got the nice ranch. The hop and Yes. Yeah. I will say there is, and I will call out every restaurant I go to, if I get some ranch and you can tell that shit is watered down, oh, it makes me... S- oh. 
so angry. So you don't <laughs> like Watery Ranch? No. Interesting. No. Who likes Watery Ranch? Lots of people. Oh. There's got to be different <sighs> ranch for different things. No, it needs to be. You got to have thick. the thick ones for the really thick fries. You got to have the more of the less viscosity one for like the tinier fries. Uh, if yes. you want to just kind of squirt it on I there. Don't know, I think my big point of those, like, say if you go to uh, like a corporate restaurant, like an Applebee's, whatever, they don't listen to this. And you can tell <laughs> their uh, ranch is just like the Hidden Valley Ranch. One part that, one part water. And it just, it just makes me so sad. And I'll tell them, like, I'm sorry, ask for a side of ranch, not a side of white water. I mean, if they put some dill in there, it'd be good. That's true. That probably would <laughs> help. Um, God, maybe we should start a ranch podcast next, huh? <laughs> maybe. Something. I don't know. Um, cool. Uh, we have another beer here. Yeah. Um, which is great. This is the Hopkiss Dry Hopped Session Ale. Uh, what can you tell us about this, Cece? So this is a... Sorry. You're fine. This is a, um, obviously a really, really light session ale with some hop forward notes uh, and then grapefruit infused. Mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, dry hopped with refreshing citra hops, giving hop kiss a blast of grapefruit on the nose without leaving a bitter taste in your mouth. You'll never forget your first hop kiss. There we go. Um, I've had this beer a lot. I already know I like this yeah. one because I've had it a lot. I like that it's, again, a 5.4 session, mm -hmm. so definitely a drinkable one, a good uh, drinking yard game one. Because mm -hmm. I, like, I like the hint of grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It can be really easy to overdo grapefruit. Yeah, it's beer. not overpower overpowering. Uh, and it, it's nice to get just a little just a little whiff of it. A, lo I think, a little yeah. kiss. A little exactly. <laughs> it is. There you go. A little butterfly kiss is yeah. a grapefruit. Uh, yeah, this is one. And it's not overly carbonated, too, mm -mm. which I really like, which is kind of the danger that I'll find with session ales, because that's the irony me is you think it should be a beer that you can drink really fast, and then it's super carbonated, yes. and it hurts on the way down. Mm -hmm. This one's not. So I feel like if you want to get her done. It's a good baseball playing beer. Yeah, great softball beer, frothing beer, outdoor yard game beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good cornhole beer. Exactly. Cornhole, mm -hmm. lawn darts is one we yep. like to play. Yeah. Um, anything like that would work quite well with this. Yeah. Um, looking at uh, your guys' website, um, we kind of read the bio on, on your head brewer, uh, Brian Garcia Brown. Um, and, you know, we, we probably won't ask him because he looks like a really big dude. But um, are we allowed to give Brian some crap about his cheerleading? I mean, you can try it. There's nothing wrong with male so cheerleaders. You can see what happens. There. Yeah. Fucking again, probably won't dudes, do it. Bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's just something interesting. I was like, oh, that's weird. Okay. You know, but. To be honest, I think it might be a joke on the, on the it website. Might, right? He yeah. might not have actually cheerleaded. Okay. <laughs> um, I haven't yet asked him. I, so. You know? Okay. <laughs> if you're a dude that wants to cheer, go cheer. If they say otherwise, I'm going to go fuck themselves. Hey, <laughs> as a cheerleader, what they would do is they would actually recruit the football players who didn't get a scholarship, and they said, if you still want a scholarship and still want to work hey, out, yeah, maybe that's... you want to be a male cheerleader. Maybe there you go. So, no, that's cool. Yeah. Dated a cheerleader for a long time in high school, so I understand. And it's then fine. they can throw you really high. They really can. So that's nice. Yeah. Can't relate. <laughs> just like, just, if you're listening to this at home, Jerry just looked back and forth at us, and he was like, I am completely lost in this conversation. I have no idea how to get us out. That's all right. Uh, but yeah. no, uh, I wasn't can you... much of a team sports kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons is a team. I didn't play Dungeons and Dragons. You could cheer for that, too. I could, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Good gracious. Good gracious. Uh, so, yeah, do you mind telling us just a little bit more about Brian? I mean, we'd love to have him on eventually, but, um, yeah, like, what do you know of him? What does he, what does he do? How long is he? He's the head brewer? He yeah. Is, Has yes. he been the head brewer the whole time? That you know, to your knowledge? I, I know, know you're fairly new, so maybe you don't know that. That's I don't it. know. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. He makes amazing beer. He's super nice to talk to. I feel very safe of going in there and be like, I need to know what you want me to push. What do you want me to do? So Yeah, we've um, heard really good things yeah, about him. Super, uh, super awesome. A few weeks ago, we had 2C Family Brewing mm -hmm. on. Yeah. We talked about when they needed some help and some extra real estate space yeah. to do it, how he was a massive help to them. So sounds like he's garnished himself a pretty good reputation yeah. in yeah. the industry. He seems really generous and obviously makes 
damn good beer, too. Yeah, we got a new tank in, and so he's dealing with that today. Otherwise, he would have been here. Yeah. Oh, so, fun. Yeah. That's cool. You guys yeah. got a new tank. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. In fact, Definitely. Wow. We are very excited about that, especially with our cider. We are selling that like crazy, so that's going to help kind of That's that right. More, you guys so. just started doing uh, Huckleberry Cider, yes. right? Yes. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. And I love me a good huckleberry cider. A nice dark fruit cider I enjoy a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. So breaking news right here, I guess. (laughs) Uh, But, yeah, we're going to get that. Hopefully, yeah, you guys will get the the cider out a little bit more. We'll definitely have it on our show. That's really smart because I think for a lot of people that don't like beer or find it hard to get into beer, ciders are really good to transition into, and especially now that we're getting so many cool craft ciders, Mm -hmm. I think it's going to make it a little bit easier to go from, you know, maybe a wine to a cider to a beer and realize, oh, shit, there's good beer out there. So I like that a lot about ciders. I used to fight them at first, being like, that's a bitch beer, not even beer. (laughs) But now I'm like... Get over it, bro. It's fine. Is well, that's that how okay. you feel about seltzers, too? I was going to say. Well, I still feel that way. Fuck <laughs> seltzers. That is not okay. a beer. That's carbonated <laughs> bullshit water. I struck a bone. <laughs> <laughs> he basically said, okay, ciders, you are now accepted. Seltzers. Yeah. Sel- seltzers cleared the way for ciders. No, yeah. you're, yeah. <laughs> no you're, you're still blacklisted with us. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, <laughs> Does that make a seltzer? Not yet. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you just got to make whatever sells, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, gotta make a living, but that's really cool. I'm, we I'm could actually just name it after you if you'd like. Are you guys to. Gonna, Absolutely, yeah. I'd still be honored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck this seltzer, hard seltzer. Yeah. <laughs> you might have just found a new niche, Jerry. You could. Oh, still. We'll have to so, talk to them with their new. Would be amazing. <laughs> Fan submitted question, because uh, on our regular podcast, not our interview series, uh, every time we'll throw out sometimes, hey, what's a brewery? Wow, easy for me it's, to say, uh, yeah. that we should profile this time. And it's amazing how often Edge is probably the number one requested one. At least it seems that way. So we have a fan-submitted question from Justin Barroso. Do you have any plans to remake slash re-release the original recipe for the Imperial Red that you used to brew? It was a very specific question <laughs> um, that he asked. Yeah, apparently I do guys... remember that Imperial Red, though. I had it at the... Yeah. Still had tap room a few times, I think. Yeah, and then I guess like somehow you guys changed the recipe or something, and but yeah, he wants the original one back. He's like, Perfect. bring it back. Do you know anything about that? Yes, Justin. 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 Listen up, buddy. <laughs> it's coming. Check it out this fall. See? Ooh. Shots fired. Yeah. All right. Check it out this fall. God, pay attention, Justin. Just, and you'll just, know. Yes. Your answer is yes. Okay. He's like a friend of the show, and I'm talking shit to him. Dude, that's all we ever do with that guy. It's hilarious. We, he gives us different questions and stuff. And, and like, I think, Jerry, you, you posted, what, two gifts of guys getting kicked in the crotch? Yeah, every time he comments, I just respond with a gift to somebody getting kicked in the dick. That's we all. love you, Justin. We really, we really do. But we he give him the back. worst time. He's such a good guy. But... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit of a bully. I'll be the first one to tell you. Yes. <laughs> um, cool. I love this hop kiss beer, though. Like, is it being dry hopped? It doesn't taste dry. It's got a little, a little bit of hoppiness, but just enough to let you know it's there. You said I love that that hop kiss. What a what a perfect name for it. Like, yeah. I know we got more beer to drink, but I definitely want another one of these bad boys. And it's nice because it's like. 120 degrees in here. Exactly. It is really so it's hot. Even, exactly. <laughs> it's even better yeah. to have this as well. <laughs> uh, so speaking of, of the different kinds of beer you guys have, and um, what's the next one we got up? Oh, yes. That's a this great a perfect segue great tra- into the next transition. Question. Yeah. Uh, so our next one up um, is called the uh, Pugzilla uh, IPA, right? It is IPA, yes? Okay, yes. I, I, the citrus IPA. Yep. Um, I really, really like the artwork of that, and I like uh, the artwork of the, the Mecca uh, Pugzilla as well. Mm-hmm. Um, they kind of have like a comic book feel style to them, um, I kind of feel like, and they're mm-hmm. just, it's just really awesome artwork. Like, it's different than anything that you would normally see on a, on a beer label. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys, uh, like, know who did the artwork for them, and are there plans to do more beers in that style? Yes, yes. Um, so we have a graphic designer who designed our artwork and designs everything that we that we have. Um, he does amazing work, and and okay. we gave him this challenge not only for Pugzilla but our new uh, IPA, which is called Meowthra. Uh, Ooh, and perfect. Yes. Okay, you guys need to just just take that in for a second. 
Pugzilla versus, versus Meowthra. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a huge Godzilla mark. I love that. I've always loved it ever since I was a little girl. So I'm pretty excited to see this expansion grow. Is that also going to be an IPA? It is, yes. Sure. So that one's going to be a Pacific Northwest IPA. A little bit more on the dank side. Yep, yep. Yes. More. You're, you're speaking love to Jerry right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's my, my favorite beer is Pacific Northwest IPA. There are no two ways about it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I've always been draw, drawn to the Pugzilla. I think we said this before we started. We... We're all about comics on this as well. So as we have su- just as much of a love as comics, arguably even more so than beer. But, you know, people like us to talk more about beer than we do comics. But that is just a perfect, to me, marriage of the two. You've got great, like a manga comic pop art style with it. Adorable little pug. Who doesn't love a nice little pug? Um, with the Godzilla theme in there, a nice little kaiju going on. So it just, for me, it just hits so many little marks. And more importantly... It's a good beer. Oh, it is yeah. a good beer. Uh, do you want to speak on it a little bit? or It's a juicy IPA. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> but not a hazy. Yeah, no, not, it's not, not a hazy. A hazy. No. no. Uh, yeah, the can says India Pale Ale, uh, 7% ABV, and no listing of IBUs, but the hops used were Chinook, Cascade, and Mosaic, and the grains are two-row and white wheat. So that should give you homebrewers a little bit of a boom kapow. idea about yes, boom kapow yeah. indeed, <laughs> yeah. uh, right on the label there, boom kapow. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> um, no, I like this beer a lot. It's good. Yes, and and to, I guess to have the battle, uh, Miathra will be released at the beginning of July. Ooh, cool. so that's like so right around the you're corner. You're hearing it first. Yes. There you go. Is is the artwork done? So yes. It is done. Yes. Okay. Hot take so from Brunomics. We will try and feature the artwork here so we somewhere. Gave a little a little taste, if you will, of our, our potential label uh, mm-hmm. like a week ago. So we okay. gave a little like what is this gonna be? A little teaser on so, the social yes, medias. Yes. Okay. So we'll release that soon. Very cool. Yeah. I'm I I got a little tease. You guys, it's it's badass looking. I said if you look at the Artwork of the original one, it's it's a good homage to it, a good follow-up for sure. It's right up there. Um, and we'll have a couple of release parties, too. We're working with a couple of places um, around the Treasure Valley to have a Pugzilla versus Meathra party. Ooh, you can do, like, some tap takeovers so, yes. and stuff. Nice. Yes. That would be awesome. Cool. We'll definitely make giveaways, sure we're there. banners. Who are you going to think is going to win? Hell, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're... Um, yeah, we'll be there. I, I just want to, like, Godzilla nerd so hard, but I won't. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, you when can. we know the dates, we'll make sure we sell it. So I guess before we do that, let's actually get some plugs out of the way. Since we're here with our friends at the Lounge, I know they got some upcoming events. Um, they're doing a Wear It Again prom Saturday, June 27th from 7 to 10 p.m. $20 tickets, all ages. You can wear your wedding dress, prom dress, secondhand outfit, whatever you want to do, but it's going to be uh, pretty awesome. Uh, they're going to have Boise Rocky Oki there and food trucks. So come party, get some good beer. Drop party, Brunomics as, some, as a discount code, probably. Sure. Or just every time you go somewhere, just try it, see if it works. Uh, That's and you advice. can go to loungeboise.com slash tickets uh, to get those tickets and for more upcoming shows. I know they're also doing some corn beer specials, $3 12-ounce beers. I guess they're sober kids in Caldwell, so drink so they all, I don't know, in their Drink honor. so the kids stay sober? Is that like That's finish the... your food because they're starving kids in Africa? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> also, uh, <laughs> top tier buddy hub here. You know, we're big uh, fans of Boise Beer Buddies. $5 off any growler filler. Fear? Filler? Fill. Fills. Son of a bitch. Uh, with your Boise Beer Buddies card, and then check out the Patreon here at uh, patreon.com slash bagel tiger. Right, it's on pa- the bottom of the board, and I can't see it. Patreon.com slash Nudge Boise. That's the new one. Uh, we were just informed from our tech crew. We want to make sure we get you that address correctly so that you can go ahead and you know give them a little bit of a tip for you know coming out and help supporting us. Again, that address is patreon.com slash loungeboise. And uh, yeah, you're going to get exclusive content, classes, parties, more, all through Patreon. So yeah, please hit them up. Oh, man. 
UK? Yeah, just, yeah, I'm just loving this beer, dude. Okay. It's, it's one of my it's favorites. Really it's really hot in here. It is really hot. I'm we're starting a, to glisten a little bit. We're in a bit. slightly different studio today than we have been for previous lounge uh, episodes. And, yeah, it's this is noticeably it's more fine. hot. We're used to it. Our podcast room gets hot. You know. That's true. We'll get over it. Uh, okay, so now, if we can, I want to talk about some spiciness. Careful, Terry. Jerry. Drama. 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 In the words of Will, I also really like the Edge logo. The Edge logo is badass. I some do of the like greatest it. artwork, some of the greatest fun. I love the, what do you call that, Poly, 3D polygon artwork on the hop. Mm-hmm. Looks super badass. Um, do you know who created the logo? Any yes. Any shouts to them? Yeah, so it was the same person that uh, created all of our artwork, and his name is Jed. Oh, goodness. Okay. Cool. I'm just going with Jed. Okay. That's an That's easier one to say. That's what we know Pretty works. unique name. So. I would, I've been practicing his last name all day, too. I knew <laughs> this was going to happen. So sorry. <laughs> I knew it. It's all right. And I was practicing. I can't even say brewery <laughs> after a while. So that, you know, I feel like yeah. he's going to kill we, me. We, we don't have shame here about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, he's Thank you, be like, Jed. No more for uh, you guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, but there is, and I don't know if you guys can or are willing to talk about this, though, but Fucking Molson Coors straight up stole the logo with their Coors Edge. Was that even a non-alcoholic beer? It was, and this was just the typeset mm-hmm. uh, logo for Edge Brewery. And, yeah, um, you guys, uh, it, I, we're, it's not even the first time that they've that they've done this. Oh, no. They st- um, yeah. It's just a super crappy move. Like, you know, it, we're, we're, we're all artists here, you know. So well, It just blows my mind they're getting sued by fucking stone and then they go and do it to another brewery yeah it's just stupid like fire that artist or whoever keeps stealing this stuff more than course just don't I, be dumb sometimes i think they do it on purpose though they're like oh but i mean we have so much more money than yeah shitheads so um and, and and honestly uh if you can't comment on this like because you know there's ongoing stuff and we all know that lawyer stuff just takes forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, that's totally cool. But uh, do you know if, if they're going to stop or change their packaging? I am not allowed to comment at this time. Perfect. No comment. Okay, perfect. perfect. Um, all we'll say is don't fucking drink their shitty non-alcoholic beer. Go and get a good edge beer that... Don't drink... What? Drink non-alcoholic beer if you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your <laughs> life. I just I just don't understand it. A non-alcoholic beer and decaf coffee. I'm just like, just why? Why? Jerry's very confused over those Reevaluate topics. your life. Um, Check and don't copyright in French. Yeah. And honestly, we just want to say, like, um, yeah, people should not associate uh, anything that Molson Coors has done with, that features that Edge logo or anything with Edge Brewery. They're completely different entities. Obviously, for a reason, Edge is much better. Please yeah. go and drink their beer. Go follow them on Instagram and everything. Because nobody likes somebody that's going to, like, cheat on the test or copy somebody else's artwork. That's just... Dumb. Enough said. Thank cool. you for thank you for your no comment. That's okay. Yeah, no, that's we, wa- we wanted to at least get what we had to say out. <laughs> so I just want to say fuck you, MC. That's really what this as segment long was as we about. Have that covered. <laughs> um, you I'm guys have a barrel age program, right? Makes <laughs> <laughs> it you're uncomfortable now. <laughs> <I'm> uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> our hard hitting journalistic segment of the night, and we did our job. We made you uncomfortable. Um, no, uh, you guys have a barrel age program, right? Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? I know we're, I'm stopping you from drinking your wonderful <laughs> beer, but um, I have you y- keep talking. Yes. Um, so we, we do a barrel aged beer about once a year, but I know that Brian wants to move into a little bit more than once a year, a few, a few times a year, actually. Um, okay. So we try to work with a couple of different uh, places around the area, always keeping everything very local. Um, giving back to the community. So this last one, the Quadricorn, we actually got the barrels from Barney. Oh, cool. So, yeah. so that it's locally sourced then. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. Okay. But like I said, we are looking at, at doing more than just once a year. Sweet. So. Yeah, I imagine that's got to be kind of a logistical nightmare. challenge. I don't want to say nightmare, but definitely a challenge, especially barrel aged and the, just the real estate and the mm-hmm. takes up and the time. But does tend to produce some damn good beer in that quadricorn. We had it Man. the couple weeks ago when we visited your tap room downtown. It was it was really good. Oh, did they have it at the downtown one? They did, I think. In the bottles? Yeah. Uh, no, they had it oh, in the Globe. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, I know because 
our, our friend Alvin had one, mm. and it looked good. He said he said it was good. And <laughs> so you never tried we, it though. Oh, I've tried it. Well, I don't know. If no, you have. I, I've tried, I, I've it, tried it, it as well. Okay. I don't like <laughs> the Steelhead location. Okay, I didn't know they had it at the other one. Or well, they did that. Night. That's all I know. Um, <laughs> cool. What is the best way? I mean, we've now referenced both. You know, getting it at a tap room with a globe and apparently bottles as well. You can get yes. it in bottles. Yes. So uh, when we release those, we do do 20, 22 ounce bottles, um, and okay. then and we have those also in the in the brewery. The tap room downtown, and then working around in different accounts. So, okay. So like Albertsons, Whole Foods, things like that. Okay, I was that because I don't think I and maybe I've missed it, but I don't think I've seen it outside the tap room. Well, next time you're there, grab a bottle, bring it home, and we'll have it on the show. Okay, Captain Bossy Pants. <laughs> yeah. You're <right>. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, what's your favorite edge beer? My favorite edge beer is Pugzilla. The Pugzilla, it has to the be one we're drinking. Or the Hipster Dupus. The hip- I am more of a sour fan, so I get really oh. excited. We're also releasing a Pog Sour in the middle of July. Ooh. I love Pog I juice. I love Pog juice. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's way better for orange guava. Yes. For Pog, orange P-O-G. Juice. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm very, very excited about this. Yes, not that kind of pog. You don't need yeah. a slammer also, for this one. Also, that's a really cool idea. I remember that as a kid, and now I want to play pogs. Now you want to play pogs? Do you still have your pogs from when you were a kid? Um, they were my cousins, and I wasn't allowed to play with them. So you're just going to totally go and go over to her house tonight and raid her attic? And then uh, I, will, attic. I will take that special. Remember those, the like, thick special ones? Oh, yeah. Slam yeah. it down there? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite non-edge beer? Do you have one? I do. Okay. We were talking about pog. So Hanalei IPA is one of my favorites mm. because, once again, Pog Juice. Is that how you pronounce it? Hanalei. Hanalei, yes. okay. I'm sure there Hawaiian words are so is, hard a, to pronounce. is someone from Hawaii that sa- like says it way better than me, but that's mm. how I say it. Yeah, good enough. And they uh, can educate me. No, I like I, Yeah, that's a really good one. I think my favorite Pog one is, what is it, the Swerve City Pog IPA from mm. Belching Beaver, but that's just because it's a Deftones. Yeah, we just we just had that one. It was really good. So good. Um, what's your favorite type of beer? It depends. Are, are you talking about season right now? Sure. Because my favorite season for beer is winter, because I love winter ale. Ooh, but my yeah. favorite beer is a Northwest IPA. Yeah. So probably right now maybe a, like a hazy IPA, and then yeah, and then within seasons like nice porter, mm-hmm. raspberry porter. Ooh. Raspberry yeah. porter. That's yeah. good. Idea. Good idea. I like that. Sometimes getting nervous with fruit beers or a lot of like adjuncts, right? Yeah. Is that what but the technical term like is? A raspberry chocolate. Like a raspberry ch- dark chocolate raspberry it. bar. Mm-hmm. Have it right. like as a dessert. Dang, I think we about got most of our <laughs> edge questions. Yeah. You guys have any upcoming events besides the previously aforementioned Hugzilla vs. Meowthra? Yes. So on July 4th, we are having a big 4th of July um, party at Steelhead. Oh, fun. So we are giving, or we're, we're raffling off a uh, Traeger grill. Is that how you pronounce Ooh, that? Traeger? Traeger? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then, those, are, those are really nice. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> and other prizes, so like any of the swags, uh, T-shirts, hats, beer for a year. Things like that. So that's that's um, better than the Traeger girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get more use out of it. That's for sure. <laughs> but, like. but yeah, so our big Fourth of July. Um, I can't remember what we called it. We called it really. We called it a quarantine something. I can't remember what it was called. There was a, f- okay. a really cool name for it. Um, but it's a Fourth of July event that we are doing. Awesome. Is it going to be on the Fourth or the so, weekend of the Fourth? So Friday and Saturday. So Saturday is when we're actually going to announce the. The All winners of, the, of everything. The winners, yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, we will mark our calendars. Oh, yeah. And hopefully we'll have Meowthra out by then so you guys can stop by and actually try Meowthra. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Cool. So our goal is to have it out by uh, July 1st. All right. We're getting our, I think, our, our final beer of the evening in town right now. This is the obligatory double IPA. It's a green can. I know you can't see it with the green screen. So I'm going to put it right in front of Jerry's head. That way it just goes right through him. Um, but <laughs> That's probably true. You probably can't see it. Uh, I didn't think about that. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a green screen. This is all real beer. <laughs> We drank this all of that. <laughs> We've had so many people like comment on this. Is like, why is there so much beer there? <laughs> whose whose place is that? And then with the green screen, what happened to all the beer? It's a fucking green screen. <laughs> <laughs> we we drank it. <laughs> That's all the beer that we've had on the show. We've just kept everything because we're because we're hoarders. We're we're oh. evil evil hoarders. <laughs> um, yeah, obligatory double IPA. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit before we read off the can? Or? Yeah, so it is a very lovely IPA, nice and nine percent. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, um, but imagine like a lemon crashing into a pine cone. That's obligatory. That'd be great artwork for this too. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Left tell Jed. Yeah, Jed. What's the can say? Can says. Obligatory double IPA. Obligatory double IPA combines citrusy and piney northwest hops with a tropical fruit nose and complex malt character, leaving the drinker in a hoppy wonderland of flavor. This is a good getting drunk beer. Yes. It really is. It's uh, coming in at 9.2 and 88 IBUs. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't leave your taste buds like completely shattered. shattered, so you can still taste food and life. Yeah, the hops on here are Simcoe and uh, Citra and I believe Amarillo. So I think there's three. I don't think there is such a thing as a Citra Amarillo. I think those are, yeah. And then uh, for grains, we have- Glad you worked that out. You're welcome. <laughs> for grains, we have Two Row, Crystal, and Munich. Um, yeah, don't wait, drink fresh. Have you ever brewed beer? I have not. Are you gonna? I mean, I watched it a couple of times, mm -hmm. so it, I think it'd be really cool. Try to like homebrew or nothing. So no. Yeah. I know. Uh, I know yeah, where my I talents drink, are. Like, good beer, yeah, so. Just... <laughs> no, I've, some of the best beers I've had are homebrews, and also the worst. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, like beers I've made. I'm just like, man, that was good, and then I brew another one. I'm just like. Ugh. I uh -oh. tried. What oh, went no. wrong? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I have a, so much of this a liquid. Homebrew that was was so tough mm -hmm. with spices because it was supposed to be like a, a kind of a spicy like a winter warmer kind of yeah a thing. it was yeah. too much and it just like punched me in the throat and i was like oh i'll just drink i'll just drink it it's it's cool because i didn't want them to feel bad right um so i drank it and the more that you drink it the more punch that you had yeah. to your throat and you're like, <clears throat> You lose your voice by the end of the yeah. night. Yeah, like, it's fine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it will um, maybe recheck it a little bit. Just come so. up with a label. You call it like the troll beer because yeah, yeah, at the end yeah. of the night, you're just talking like this. Yeah, yeah. You must pay the troll. Oh, God, that's amazing. <laughs> Drink the troll. <laughs> it's actually just, what it sounds like when you get a troll doll stuck in your throat. That's the that's what the drink the makes you. Doll. Yeah. Don't, don't Put troll dolls in your mouth, Will. <laughs> I have little kids, and and I'm pretty sure it says that on the packaging. A, a problem with shiny things. Choking hazard. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like you shouldn't have to say this to a <laughs> mid thirty year old man. But you do. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Late thirty year old man. I just had a birthday. I'm even older than that. It's not. It's like upper mid thirties now. Thanks. <laughs> With that, we're going to move right into our <laughs> rapid-fire questions, if you're good with that. Oh, so nervous. Oh, yeah. Um, they're not too difficult. They can get weird. If you don't have an answer, you can just say pass. We'll can only judge weird. you a little. Okay. It can get weird. Hopefully, it will. Yeah. How, like, what's the time? Is like, fast. Like, just, it's first not thing Jeopardy. that comes to your mind? If, if Coral in the background starts singing the Jeopardy theme song, you know you've taken too long. Yeah. I kind of want to hear it. Me, too. I don't know if we can... Afford that though, yeah. so maybe don't. Yeah. Maybe don't. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop it, stop it. We don't have the rights. Um, all right, big party or small gathering? Small gathering. Okay. Swimming or sunbathing? Swimming. Okay. Phone call or text? Text. You're going really well and quick. Yeah, I know. Really A lot of times, like, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Eventually, I'm ready. eventually, we'll come to one, and you'll you'll feel the need to explain yourself. Go ahead and take that time. Or don't, it's your life. I yeah, it's your like life. I I'm not going to tell you what to do. <laughs> All right, cups in the cupboard, right side up or upside down? Upside down. That's the correct answer. <laughs> That's really more of a personality judgment yeah. that we make on people. <laughs> a little bit. We do judge a well, little. Well, I mean, I guess it depends. So, like pints, right side up so you can stack them. And then 
upside down for mugs. Why don't you just stack the pints upside down? I didn't think about that until right this moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, this is oh, why we ask these questions. They're different sizes sometimes. Like in my cupboard, they're all different sizes and weird. Sometimes you it's put a, a wine glass in there. Like, you know, the one I want to see your stem? cupboard now because that's you don't. really weird very... to see a wine glass covered, stacked with the pint glass. Well, like, are you talking it, like... stemware wine glass or like no, no, stemless? No, without it. Yeah, stemless. And then okay. you're, you know, you only got so much in your apartment and. Got it. So. <laughs> Nap or workout? What? Nap or workout? Oh, workout. Okay. I'm a uh, runner. <laughs> you're a runner. Yes. I don't get you. <laughs> I. <laughs> I knew sorry. there was something off about you. <laughs> yeah. Which is, it, it is very funny because I was never a runner like as a, as a kid or in high school or even in college. Uh-huh. Um, because my last name is Running Wolf, I never wanted to like associate it together. Um, okay. That, but now that, that I am. Great an, fucking powerful <laughs> last name though. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm an avid runner, I get a lot of people who think, oh, it's a nickname. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, it's not. It's actually my last name. But, but. <laughs> Check the I license. Get it. It's a moniker either way. <laughs> That's awesome though. That is so, really cool. Thanks. I'll let my yeah. family know. <laughs> I met this one girl and her name was Strawberry and I was like oh that's a that's cool. cool name she's like thanks I got it for my birthday <laughs> I've used that before too it's <laughs> fucking great thanks it was a birthday <laughs> present <laughs> people tell me yeah I have a great beard I'm like thanks I grew up myself mm-hmm. there's a lot of moments of silence here where if you're listening at home we're just putting our microphones down and Staring at Jerry with, with blank faces because he's all all kinds of dad jokes right now. <laughs> That's okay. Dad jokes are the best jokes. They are the best <laughs> jokes. Thank you. It's just wordplay. Wordplay's not dad jokes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, what's your preferred streaming service? Like Netflix, Hulu. Oh, okay. So like video versus like music? Uh, no, uh, but I think video both. streaming. Oh, well, if you have a music streaming service, sure. And then a video streaming service. It's an open-ended you're question. Right, you're right. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, there's so many. Probably Hulu if you get the live version, because there's all, all the things with it. And then music, Spotify. That's my exact answer. Good, too. good, Hulu good answers. Yeah. All around. Um, okay. Rich friend or loyal friend? Loyal. I've not yet had a rich friend person. <laughs> yeah, because if you answer that way, you're a dickhead. I only like it because y'all got money. Right. <laughs> How about rich and loyal? <laughs> what we want to find is we want to find the person who we have known as the loyal friend who answers rich friend because then they know the people. <laughs> mm. Hopefully. Yeah. Or they become the rich fan friend. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. thanks, buddy. And they're like, you were true this entire time. Maybe that's just it. All Come of our friends are super this. rich and they're just not. They're stingy. <laughs> and they're because they are loyal to us. and. Well, they're teaching us nice a lesson is what they're doing. I know. We're, we're like family almost. <laughs> Ask her more questions. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Okay. Board games or video games? Board games. Smart or funny? Uh, funny. 80s or 90s? 90s. 90s. My 90s, baby. <laughs> okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. Nah. That's a tough question. That's a really tough question. Uh, mountains. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm okay, gonna, mountains. Uh, all right. Uh, you're going to love the follow-up. Camping or an amusement park? Oh, camping. Okay. That was actually pretty easy. I'm scared uh, of heights. Choose? Really? Yes. Oh. I got invited, actually, to uh, jump off the bridge in Twin Falls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so like a tandem jump, mm-hmm. right? Uh I have a really awesome friend that lives there, and she is a bad A. I don't know if I can say that, but... No, you're fine. You can say whatever. No, I've okay. said the F word like eight <laughs> oh, times yeah, so you far. Have. <laughs> <laughs> she, well, she is a bad A, and... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and, uh, no, she was, like, just willingly, like, hey, do you want to come join me? And I was like, why would you ever think that? I can tell you some horror I stories about that, that bridge that would make you never want to jump off one. of it. Um... Oh god, this one's really this well one's, done, CC. Oh, well done. It's just sad, man. Last summer it was. Oh, I don't want to hear August, a sad one because it was right around my st- oh, s- uh, birthday. This couple from New Zealand comes because it's one of the only bridges oh, in the god. world you could jump off. It's their honeymoon. They both jump off. No, her chute deploys. His doesn't. <gasps> Boop. Had Gotta to check watch your brand shoot. new husband. Just. 
turn into jelly on the way down. Well, yeah, I made the right decision on that one. So, yeah, I, I encourage you to not jump off that bridge. Yeah, don't jump off the bridge if I'm everybody not afraid else of does. <laughs> and fuck that. <laughs> it's not a high bridge. It's not. I've, I've kayaked underneath it, yeah. and I was waiting for people to fall on me. In case you're like, what bridge? It's the Twin Falls Bridge over the uh, Snake River Canyon that is about a quarter mile away from where Evil Knievel tried to jump the canyon and broke like 170 bones in his body. He did He did fail at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you were asking me to ask more questions, so I'm going to do that. Choose a superpower, CC. Fire. No, Fire. electricity. Yes. Oh, electricity. Okay. I thought about Shock this. Shock people. Yeah. Well, that and you can also like charge your phone and like charge people's everything. You can travel nice. through currents too. Phone lines. That yeah. too. That Super too. Super easy to travel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you probably discover a lot more you can do with your superpowers it's once you got them. Cre- that's a creative yeah. answer. That's one we haven't got before. Yeah. I like that. Well done. Fries or tots? Fries. We can't be friends now. <laughs> You're the first person that said fries also. Yeah, very first person. <laughs> Bit of a weirdo right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's a runner, too. That must explain it. I still don't get that. I'm stuck on why would you choose running? It's CC running with fries over tots. <laughs> okay. Pancake or waffle? <laughs> can I not pick either of those? Can Only I, if you I substitute it with something else. French toast. French toast is acceptable. Mm. Well done. I will now add that to the questions. Yes. Interesting. Right. Dress up or dress down? Depends on the situation. Okay, pick one. In your <laughs> mind, dress up or dress down? Wait, what was it? Dress up or dress down? For any situation? For pick one, whatever you oh. want. Ah. Whatever comes to mind. Dress up. You're going you're going just downtown clubbing on a Saturday night. <laughs> nope, no, I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> the look she gave you, by the way, was We're priceless. <laughs> Please be watching this on, on our stream on the, with the Lounge at the End of the Universe because <laughs> the look she just gave Jerry just... I'm sorry. Oh, if I could bottle that, oh, if that I could bottle amazing. it, I would I'd I've make millions of dollars. A, the fuck I am look. I mean, yeah, before. I would buy it and I'd put it in a little spritzer. That way, like, wives could just shoot it at their husbands. <laughs> Love that. I've been told many a times that... Uh, I don't have a poker face, so I apologize. (laughs) You're fine. (laughs) I would say dress up. Dress up. But normally I wear a cut off in like yoga pants. (laughs) I would prefer to dress up, but that's what I usually wear. You gotta keep it real. (laughs) Uh, I was only saying that because of the pandemic. (laughs) Sure. 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 Receive a gift or uh, have like an experience, like a go on. Like go on a trip or see a show or experience. something. Experience. Experience. Yeah. Rather than yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Better memories. Experience over things always. Yeah. Fuzzy or smooth. Ooh. It's a texture thing. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah. I can okay. feel it right now. You know, like a soft table or not a soft table, <laughs> a, soft. <laughs> a smooth soft table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hamburger, pizza, or taco. Hamburger. Okay. Morning or night? Morning. Okay. Top or bottom? (laughs) Bottom. Bottom. Okay. (laughs) Ninjas or pirates? (laughs) Ninjas. Ninjas. And that's our rapid fire segment, everybody. I'm so sorry. (laughs) When I have to be the one to apologize, William. (laughs) That question is on there because it's open-ended and can be taken any way. Any way? Any way. Top bunk, bottom bunk, glass half full, half empty. I choose to come out on top. I like to support on the east. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show, Cece. (laughs) Jerry doesn't like that question. I find it to be fun, and it usually makes people laugh. (laughs) <laughs> it's one of those like you laugh out of awkward like I'm just so uncomfortable I don't know what to do with life. you had the option of pass we explained the <laughs> oh, rules I didn't the beginning. Know. Like, <laughs> you forgot <laughs> you, you did. forgot I didn't but we, use it we gave you the option to pass <laughs> we always give you the option See, to pass I'm taking it oh. head on there you are just like the world <laughs> cool <laughs> I didn't want to pass I wanted to exactly figure it out <laughs> yeah there you go 
<laughs> Wait, was your answer to ninjas or pirates? Ninjas. Okay, I was still distracted. Mostly by because that. of Do- Johnny Depp, and I just can't. No, oh, if I can't. see another Pirates no, of the Caribbean like fucking yeah, movie, like that's overrated. Yeah. It's like that in vampires, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So werewolves then. No, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The ninja cool. werewolves. Like we don't need there any more go. sparkly. No. Vampires. Sparkly vampires. It, it pretty bad. much like entirely ruined the lore of vampires. It did. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, low blow to vampires. I mean, I'm sure they're really cool now, but like, I'm sorry, <laughs> Twilight ruined it. All right. All right. So we're gonna uh, kind of <laughs> go over our plugs and everything else. Uh, where can we find you? Follow you? Everything else like that on social media or just Edge or Brewing? Edge Brewing. Yeah. Yes. So Edge Brewing or oh, at Edge Brewing on Instagram, and then we have a Facebook page for both the Steelhead location and our tenth location. So we both. Talk about okay. our different specials, so you can figure out what specials are at each place. There you go. So perfect. Um, and also, oh, also, we're gonna do. She brought us some sweet swag. See this cool glass? Yeah. There's a reason why I've been featuring it here on the table all this time. Yeah. <laughs> and some shirts. Yep. We're gonna do a little little giveaway, but as always, you know the rules. Follow them. Edge. Follow us. Brunomics. Follow the lounge. Tag a friend. Put a little bit more detail, maybe because we have two different size shirts. We'll do two different giveaways, one with each glass. We'll see. Who knows? Follow us and find out. Uh, before we boogie, you got any, uh, I don't know. I, I, I love this one that Will has here, a little parting gift for us. Let's not yeah. look at the beer world right now. Uh, anything you've been focusing on you think people should check out? Any bits of advice to people? Um, the floor is yours. I've been thinking about this all day, too. Um, So, yeah, just uh, keep uh, educating yourself on on where to vote and and your government and um, how to change the world, guys. I love that. Let's do this. I love it. That's important. Especially we're all younger. I feel less and less younger as the days go on. Um, Well, you should have looked at me. Clearly, much younger than (laughs) us old men. Uh, (laughs) But it's important for younger people to get out and vote. Yes. uh, One way or the other. If you ever look at any voting demographic, rather you agree or not, the one thing that stands out to a disgusting uh, number is that young people don't vote. I agree. Get out there and vote. It's needed right now. The world needs some changing. Mm -hmm. So, do your part. I love that. I absolutely love that. That's pretty here, great. Here. Uh, but, yeah, again, check out the Lounge. Check out their upcoming events. Uh, go to loungeboise.com slash tickets. Check out their patreon.com slash loungeboise. Uh, bring your Boise Beer Buddies cards. Get them growler discounts, some $3 beer specials. Uh, be good to each other. Drink good beer. Cece, thank you so much for coming on, giving us some delicious beer, some sweet swag. Uh, look forward to the events. Do you want to sh- shout out those dates again? Yes, so July 4th, for sure, 3rd and 4th. And then uh, keep a lookout on all of our social media platforms for the Pugzilla versus Meowthra dates. There we go. And we'll make sure that we share them, too, so people know when and where to go. (laughs) Get some damn good beer. Have a damn good time with damn good people. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Jerry. I'm William. And I'm Cece. Cheers.